What's up everybody, it's Ben Pelletino and I'm going to just show you guys what I have bought recently. I had a nice giant um, pile here of some stuff I bought. Um, it's actually not that big, but uh, it's some really cool stuff that I got lately. I haven't done an actual video in a long time. I've been pretty much just streaming um, all of these types of videos live uh, usually, but this one I wanted to do as an actual video so I could actually talk about everything without being interrupted with questions and stuff like that. Um, so I've got a whole bunch of stuff to go over here. Um, first of all, sorry if the audio kind of sucks. Uh, I'm kind of still in the middle of getting my old setup back together. So um, bear with me. I'm going to try and fix it as best as I can. So I'm sorry about the audio. I'm sorry if you can hear dogs barking. I'm sorry if you can hear my fan. It's I'm a mess right now. But I wanted to do this now and get it out of the way. So first of all, first off i'm going to start by saying um that the first thing i have um i actually can't show you because it's plugged in i got an official original manufactured uh nintendo um power supply for my nes um so it's just a regular power supply i needed a new one that's the only thing that's not pictured um that i got that is yeah so now i can play my nes which is sweet all right so i'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna start with the boring stuff first um, actually, no, let's start with this. So big shout out to my friend PNG. He is a YouTuber. Uh, kind of an inside joke. Not a lot of people will understand it, but I got a copy of Billy the Wizard brand new on the Wii. And um, it's just another game for the collection, really. It's really cheap, and it's a really stupid, shitty game. And it's more of an inside joke thing than anything else. So that's the first thing I'm going to show you. So... Yeah, Billy the Wizard for the Wii, brand new. Good stuff. So, PNG, if you're out there, thank you, I guess. All right, the next thing I'm going to show you is Until Dawn for PS4. Um, I don't have a ton of PS4 games, and I'm finally getting around to playing this. Um, my sister and I are going to play this together, I think, make some choices together and whatever. Her boyfriend said I really need to play it, so I figured, hey, I'm going to play it. So, yeah. Until Dawn. <laughs> I don't know anything about it, really. Um, so, we'll see. It's installing now, actually. Alright, we got some Xbox One stuff here, of course. And I'm going to go through all of that, and then I will save the, the, the best for last. Alright, so, right here is I finally have a physical copy of Doom. This is the reverse... Um, cover, but that's because it looks fucking awesome. Um, I have this game digitally, but I was able to get a copy for $10, and I needed the physical for my collection. I still have to get the collector's edition of this game, um, but it's sweet that I finally have a, a physical of it, so that's awesome. So that's Doom. This isn't going to be that long of a video either, by the way. I just wanted to get a video out there. Um, all right. Uh, this I'm going to do next. This is very interesting. So this is Geometry Wars 3 Dimensions Evolved Physical. But um, now this is sealed. It's got the original security um, sticker here and everything. And um, and uh, so you can see that it's like original seal and everything here. Right? All right. Um, so this is the back of the game. And we're just going to take a look right here. See how it says Xbox One? And this is the back of the casing. And this is the front of the casing. And it doesn't say Xbox One up here. And um, it doesn't have that white text. It's on the back of it right here. So this was actually a misprint. I have a misprint Xbox One game. I've never seen a misprint Xbox One game. Basically... Um, this is the way it's supposed to be uh, with Geometry Wars title art, and it opens up, and that's that. Um, but the title art is actually over here and then flipped. So it still opens the right way, but it's upside down and backwards. So this art needs to be right here. This title should be here. So, and what sucks is you can hear... The disc is actually loose in there, which really sucks. But I don't want to open this because it's a misprint. So I got it so cheap that I think I'm just going to keep it sealed, keep the misprint sealed. 
um, and then just order another one. This was so cheap. They've got more available. Hopefully the second one I order um, isn't a misprint, but I figured since it's so cheap, it's the first misprint I've seen of this generation. Um, I figured, hey, why not just keep it? You know, I wish trying to slide the paper down a bit because it's really high up there but uh is that kind of cool though i have a misprint xbox one game i have that digitally too um, but i still kind of want to get a real uh, physical copy of it because you know how anal i am about collecting uh, the next thing i got is um uh, battleborn collector's edition which um i didn't know it was this small uh, in the pictures I've seen online, it looked like it was a big box thing. Uh, it comes with a figure, too, so that's another reason I thought it'd be taller. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty small. And it's actually, what's interesting is this is one of the only um, collectible editions I've seen. Um, like, this comes with a, it's not even a collector's edition, it's just an exclusive edition i think for gamestop at least it says bonus collectible figure only at gamestop i'm assuming this box is only for them but uh what's really crazy is uh, this comes with a figure that's random and um so i don't even know who's in here i kind of want to get a couple more of these and just keep them sealed even though it's Battleborn, it's not like it's going to jump in value. It's just cool to know that they're random in here. And it's pretty small. So it was like about 30 or $35, I think. That's how much I paid for that. So the next thing is um, I got um, Mighty Number no. 9. Uh, this is brand new. But I also got Mighty Number no. 9, a uh, limited edition collector's edition thing signature edition is what they call it because it's got you know a printed signature on it i'm just kidding but it's got a really shitty looking statue in there which is cool um and some other things it actually the statue doesn't look that bad but it doesn't look that great either it's got a nice little sleeve with this cool blueprint type style packaging showing the suit and stuff like that i don't really know anything about this game but it looks cool. I probably won't play it, but I got the signature edition for like um, 25 I think. And then I got this for, I think, 10 or 15 So it's not the most amazing price, but I don't think it's that expensive. This is really heavy. What the hell else is in here? Why is this so heavy? Oh, there we go. Includes expansion pack plus art book and double-sided poster. So it has everything this has except for the statue. So these are the exact same except for this has a statue and a slip cover and obviously a bigger box. So yeah, I got those two, which is sweet additions to the collection, of course, because I love getting limited editions and I like having the paired physical. Now I could go extremely ex excess and, and get a second physical copy to open because um, I do do that sometimes if they're really cheap I'll just grab two I've got um, I and I do have a bunch of duplicate games for games that are open because my brother either was done with them and I bought them for my collection or he gave them to me or whatever like I have two copies of um, two copies of Garden Warfare 2 two copies of uh, Ghost Recon two copies of Gears <clears throat> the Steelbook Edition two copies of um toy soldiers etc you know i could go on but um i do have a few that are duplicates that are brand new i think all right anyway now for the grand finale the grand hurrah uh this is very cool i wanted a new system added to my collection and um or a, a new system added to the collection but it's an old system and it's complete in box and it's in amazing shape and it's these Sega Master System which um, this is this was an awesome buy um, so this is complete in box with everything the original booklets the original packaging all of the little bags and stuff everything came in it's got everything everything in it and then I also bought I bought this separately but I got um, global defense um, this was 
a super cheap like eight dollar game um i literally just got it because i didn't have any master system games and i wanted to at least have one game for a system you know and i still have to test the system but uh it looks great it should be fine shouldn't be any problems at all um so i got a cheap ass game to try it with <sighs> i've bought from this guy before um he's a ebay seller i go to so um, shouldn't be a problem. It's in really great shape. This was probably about between these two things. Um, this was from a different person, uh, probably about 80 bucks total here. Um, so $80 and I got a master system complete in box, um, with all the original bags and stuff. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'll turn this around now. Actually, I'll show you in here. Just in case, for those of you who don't know what these used to look like. The cartridges are so boring. That's the cartridge. Which is really plain and boring. like a poster thing it's just like a poster showing a bunch of their games and then the instruction booklet for the game itself so that is generally how master system games looked like back in the day cases back then especially sega they broke easily right here you can see there's like a crack or something So yeah, that is all the stuff that I've recently gotten or have had added to my collection. However, I should have worded that. That was poorly chosen words. Sorry, this was kind of a terrible video. Really bad quality and stuff. I've had a lot of go a lot of stuff going on, and yeah. So yeah, so awkward, awkward. Anyway, guys. Um, again, thank you PNG for Billy the Wizard idea. We got to keep that going. And yeah. Man, I'm tired. Jesus. Man, this video fell apart quick, huh? Look at me. Struggling to get, get through an outro. There was something else I was going to say, though. Oh, yeah. Game design's going sweet. Card game is going sweet. I know some of you guys follow that. And I will talk to you all later. I think it's awkward because I'm so used to doing this live that now it's like recording is weird. But anyway, I will talk to you all later. Goodbye, everybody.